Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media. And uh, people have been asking me how I make this. So, especially Carrie the Griffith. Carrie the Griffith? Carrie the Crafter. Carrie Griffith. So, you know, if Carrie wants to know how to make it, I want to tell him. And then you can go watch him make it because he'll describe it way better than I do. Just saying. He's better at that stuff. Um, so, for my Tim Holtz ones, I use Tim Holtz paper because then I know they're the Tim Holtz. Um, stencils. Yeah, that's the word I want. Oh my goodness. It's just words, Darcy. Uh, but I only made the pockets on one side. Um, I can always add pockets on the other side because it gets thick, you know. And having pockets on both sides just makes sense. Uh, I don't need to make another one of these. And I don't really need to make another one of these. Uh, but I will show you, I'll add a page on to show you how I made these, and then, um, I will probably add pockets on the other side as well. So basically what I do is I take the Tim Holtz paper from the back of the book, or pages that I don't, won't necessarily use in journals, and cut those down. Uh, this one I didn't need as much of. So I basically, I fold it up so there's a three inch pocket and then I cut off the rest. So basically you want a good inch bigger than your stencils. So you can even just kind of put your stencil on the paper and figure out half an inch on each side and then you could mark it and then you can measure it and get, you know, the closest to that. Or you could just measure your stencil, which would make even more sense. So like the Tim Holtz stencils are just over four inches so you want it at least five inches wide your paper and they are eight and a half inches so you'd want it at least nine inches tall so what, what, what did I just say so at least five by nine five by nine for this size and if you're doing uh, the a five by seven stencil you're going to want an um, six wide by eight seven and a half no I said half an inch no wait half an inch half an inch you don't need as much up and down as you do on the side so half an inch taller and an inch wider so it would be six by seven and a half piece of paper is what you would want for like a five by seven um, but what I need to make it for is these and that's only gonna give me two and a quarter inch to fold up for the pocket. So I'm actually gonna just use eight and a half by 11 paper to do these. So I'll, I'm gonna show you two ways. One way with washi tape and one way without and one way with the 12 by 12 and one way with eight and a half by 11. So uh, I already, I, already I, I tried this video once and it didn't happen. It, it, things got messed up. So let me go ahead and how wide did I do these? I did these. Well, I could measure. That would make sense. All right, so these are four by ten because there's three inch pocket. So I'm going to cut that four by ten. So four. Then I'm going to take my terribly wonky, I can't trust this thing right here. It's not straight. So I'm going to use this line that I drew and one, two, three inches. And then, you, you know, mountains to valleys. So now that's folded up like that. This is why this is nice because you don't lose any space in the bottom, which is why you only need half an inch. Not even a half an inch really but you know not more than a half an inch and then let's see let's hope that this is not glued on if it is did I glue it on let's hope I didn't glue it on I might nope I did not glue that on good I'm just gonna peel it off though or I'll just put washi well washi tape doesn't glue on washi tape very well like things don't glue on top of washi tape very well so most of them I glued down, but the end piece, because I thought, well, if I want to add, you know, something else later, 
I didn't I wanted to be able to take off the washi tape so I didn't glue those ones and it looks like I could have probably this was a strong enough washi tape it would have been fine and you don't have to use washi tape you could use a strip of paper uh, the important thing is you you want uh, you know heavier scrap of paper like you know cardstock 60 65 pound uh, what's the GSM for that or 176 GSM uh, at least so there except I'm gonna line those up and I'm gonna see that for some reason things did not you know everything was just a tiny bit taller it's okay if I try to fix it I could end up with issues if you're cutting them all at the same time that helps apparently when you cut them at different times who knows what will happen we're not gonna worry about it I can trim that off after it's cut so you want to leave a tiny little space in between, like you do with accordion journals. And I'm going to glue this one. Uh, if you don't want to have to keep working for your, you know, you could just go ahead and glue your pocket. I don't think I did. I think I just put the um, washi tape in. But I'm just doing that now because it keeps wanting to pop up like that. And that's kind of annoying me. So you want to kind of go the width of your washi tape leave a tiny space in between like it doesn't have to be it just needs to be able to fold so like a sixteenth of an inch probably really really small and then just try to get this straightish if it's not straight it's not the end of the world I mean this is just something in your Dash. So now I should be able to fold that in without a problem and it does stick out just tight. See this is why it's better to cut them all at the same time. If you have cutters that are unpredictable, <laughs> at least if you're cutting them at the same time, you're cutting them on the right on the same line for each one. Um, apparently I don't do it the same every time. And then you can do it on the other side as well. Another piece of washi over here. Glue it so it will stay because washi is not intended to stick forever. You can use washi you like or you can use washi that you just want to use up. It really doesn't matter. You just... That's how I attach these ones. That's all. And then, like you saw before... I had just put a piece of washi on this end to hold that pocket closed, or you could just glue it. And then, of course, if you want to add pockets on the other side, you just measure your pockets and glue them on, and your stencil should still fit. So that that's the way I made these. Super simple. It's really not much to it. You can add a page when you need to, or add pockets on the back when you need, you know when you buy more. So it's an expanding stencil storage too. And you can do it with any size stencils. It might be a little hard to do it with like nine by 12, although you could. Uh, it just might be a little bit, uh, you know, harder to deal with because you might need stronger paper if you use really big stencils. I don't think I'd go bigger than five by seven, personally. All right, but these are what I need to make storage for. So. And then I just stand these up. I have, oh, ah, I have this thing on my desk and these fit in here. So I just stand them up in something like this. Uh, anything that stands them up, it just kind of keeps them out of your way uh, for when you're ready to use them. All right. So these, stands, these stencils I got on Amazon. They're pretty cheap stencils. But they don't fit in my other storage. The reason I'm not going to make 5 by 7 one is because this is what I use for my 5 by 7 I think this is like, um, like, yeah, it's like a half a page size here. So I have, um, all my, yeah, that's a 5 by 7 there. All my 5 by 7 ones fit in these perfectly. So that's what I use for my 5 by 7 but I know Carrie said that, you know, it would be great for that. And it would, totally. All right, so for these, I'm cutting my papers. Oh, what was I cutting them? 
pen. I just had the ruler. You gotta be, oh, it's right here. I put stuff under things. This one I have, it's five and three quarters by 10. Yes, five and three quarters by 10. So, five and three quarters, which was an inch wider, and then 10 was half an inch taller. So, just measure your stencil. You're gonna do an inch wider than your stencil and a half inch taller than your stencil. And then for this, I'm going to do this at half an inch. It's never straight, it's really annoying, so I have to adjust for that. Uh, and then this is a valley, and I'm going to go valley to mountains, or mountains to valleys, or I don't know. Anyway, you go the opposite direction. <laughs> So then for this, well, we're going to go here. So you see this one's already folded over. So I'm taking my unfolded side and I'm going to line up the bottom here. If this is a little bit crooked on this side, I don't care. I need my bottom to line up. And also I need this to line up on this to be the same width as well. So if I can line up that right side and the bottom then I'll find out that this is just slightly bigger and that's annoying. All right, I'm gonna chop off a tiny, tiny sliver off of this because I need that tiny bit of space to leave. You still have to leave. You don't wanna uh, glue it right on where it's folded. You wanna glue it, you wanna see that bump? Do you see that bump? You wanna be able to see that bump when you glue it. So I'm lining it up on the bottom, trying to make sure it's lined up on the right side too. That's where this one gets just a little bit more difficult because, you know, you have to make sure it's lined up or you're gonna end up with a very wonky, I could show you the one that ended up wonky. <laughs> a very wonky piece. Uh, and I still, on this side, I'm not quite, uh, all right, hold on, come off there. That's annoying. Yeah, see, it's no matter what I do, this way ends up a little bit wonky. But you know what? It's just to hold my stencils. It's not something I'm selling or anything like that. No, I'm not going to make these and sell them. I don't love making them that much. So let me add another one. This one already cut. I just need to... Um, half an inch. Just need to put my fold in it. So mountain, this now has to be the valley, or valleys to mountains, or mountains to valleys, or I don't know, it's just the opposite. All right, now I'm gonna flip this over because this is how my brain works, apparently. Line it up at the bottom. Try to also have it line, apparently the first time I did it, I didn't make sure I lined it up on the end, so <sighs> I'm having to pay for that now. But make sure it's lined up at the bottom. Like I said, if it's crooked over here, it doesn't matter as long as you have a little bit of space there. And glue that down. If you don't have art glitter glue and you're just using tacky glue or Elmer's glue, you're, pr you're probably going to want to have some uh, paper clips or binder clips to just hold it. See, I just cannot cut straight to save my life when it comes to that stupid cutters, all the cutters. I don't cut the same way every time. I could wait to the end and do that, but I kind of just figured I'd do that now. All right, so I need one, two, three, four. I need three more on this one. Um, I don't think you want to watch that. So I'll add those in a minute. Okay, so for the pockets on this one, I'm going to take the cutoff that I had, which I don't think is going to be quite tall enough because these are kind of delicate. And I don't want them touching each other. So we'll see how it works. So I'm not sure if I want to make it taller or if I just want to, um, this should be four and a quarter, right? Right about there. Should be half an inch. If I was doing it at five and a three quarter, this should be five and a quarter what that should be. Hmm. I could have measured it. That would have been smart. 
No, it's too wide. Hold on. I don't know why it's too, but it's just, I need to go a smidgen under that maybe. Nothing is cutting straight. That's annoying me so much. None of these are cut straight. Anyway, we're not gonna stress about it too much. Or my lines don't bend straight. I'm not sure what. I'm just trying to line it up on the bottom. All right, I think I'm okay. I think I probably need to cut it off the smidgenest, but. So then I'm just gonna glue the three sides. And now the nice thing about using the plain paper is if you want to put your um, stencils back in the same place every time, you could just go ahead and stencil. Stencil it right on there. That's probably nothing on this. And uh, you could just always have your stencil. You'll see, well, it's very light, but you know, you just stick it in there. And I can go ahead and put pockets on both sides so I have storage on both sides and it won't need to be as thick. So that's the two ways to do it. I don't know. If you have any questions, <laughs> please ask me. <laughs> or Carrie will come out with his video and watch that. When he does, I'll link it on below when he does. I'm hoping he will, he will do his um, on camera because... He's just better at explaining things than I am. Also, he can, you know, see where I kind of like went wrong with my explanations and whatnot. All right, so I'm just going to, instead of like doing it, really? There we go. I'm just going to, um, right inside that bump there and right inside this bump here, I'm going to make a line and see if that works better. Because that way it's going to... And that's just under five and a quarter. So that's what I probably needed to do before because you want it a little bit smaller. You want it wider than your stencil still, but a little bit smaller than where the paper is because otherwise you're gonna, it's not gonna fold. So, I mean, you could use washi tape, use some plain cardstock too, and then add your pockets. Just know that uh, glue does not stick to washi tape very well after, you know, if you, if you do your washi tape and then your pockets, you, you might have some issues or you might want to go over it again with washi tape or something. Just saying. I don't know. I, I, I made a journal once where I used washi tape as part of the binding and the glue, no matter what glue I used, it, it came off. And then it's just a little accordion and you can, you know, add a page when you need a page. Make sure you have a have that extra flip on your final page so that if you need to add a page, you can. Um, or, you know, when you do this one, just make sure if you use the washi tape on that last bit that you don't use glue so you can take it off again if you need to add a page. So, obviously. I'm missing some stuff. Usually this is full. Oh, I added a page. That's why. I was like, usually this is so full. You can see this one was a little taller here and a little shorter there. I just, I don't know. And if you don't have a, um, one of those, uh, scoreboards, then you can take your ruler and, you know, you might want to make your line so you get it the right width. Or at least have your, you know, thing in the top of the bottom. And then you can take your bone folder. Where's my bone folder? Just take your bone folder right up to the ruler like that. And then you've scored your paper. I don't know if you have to do mountain ballets for that or not. But that's how you can, that's one way to score your paper without the scoreboard. Doesn't seem any straighter than with my scoreboard. <laughs> Still looks crooked. That's why you draw the line. I didn't draw the line. If you have a um, if you have a Tim Holtz ruler, it's even easier because then you have the line on the ruler, and you just you know do your thing right under there. So I think I'm just gonna do it that way, and maybe it will be straighter. Still doesn't look straight. I don't know. Is it how I cut my paper? Well, that looks somewhat straight. Yeah, it's probably just because this line's not straight. Still doesn't look straight. I don't know. How do you guys get a straight line when you score things? I can't seem to get a straight line to save my life. But that's okay. I just, I kind of adjust when I'm putting them on there. 
All right, let me know if you have any questions, uh, especially Carrie, if you have any questions, because I'm hoping you'll do a video and uh, show people how to do it. It's just an accordion folder with accordion book with pockets is all it is. I hope you guys have a delightful day, and uh, I hope uh, if you like this, you'll make it and uh, tag me if you uh, show it on on uh, Instagram or or uh, YouTube or Facebook or whatever. Have a delightful day, guys. Love you.